one of my favorite interview questions. Like, what is a thing you um, do for free that other people just have to be paid for to do? Um, and for me, that's like, I like programming. I like making. I like systems. I like reasoning about these things. It turns out, um, you know, I did a thing with Shopify, which is sort of, before Shopify, you, you, you used like one piece of software for, for getting started. I mean, you, afterwards, you use some enterprise vendor and you replatformed like three times on your path. I thought this is crazy. Just like, let's make one piece of software that you can start when you're an entrepreneur. And if you are like, I don't know, Mr. Beast over here or like, I don't know, multi billion dollar, like the largest businesses of Shopify have many billion dollars uh, of revenue. Of it. So it works for all of them. Like, just. It's harder to do that. It's harder to build software like this, but like, clearly, if you can, it's much better. So that's what we did. I think about myself in a way, like this a little bit. It's like everyone was, was talks about like you do one thing and as a chapter, and then another thing. No, what you want to do is like get the best things of yourself into whatever you need to do next. And like, um, so so I think I am, you know, I'm a CEO of Shopify, uh, um, um, and that's my job description. Um, but I'm by craft a apprentice, I apprentice as a computer programmer. That's that's my thing. That's where my energy comes from. I expanded my skill set to be like doing the business thing. And when you think about it like this, but you actually realize what is company building? What is running companies? Sure, there's like strategy and these kind of things. But you like you know you you, you make st strategic calls every time you create the architecture for a software as well. It turns out companies are complex systems. They, they run on a form of software we call story. Um, very different, much less deterministic, deeply lossy when it's being copied. But you can think about it as a very, very frustrating programming environment, if you will. The more interesting thing is, how do you keep the culture to be what it is? Like it's, that's like, OK, now we're talking. Non-deterministic systems is like our bread and butter as programmers, isn't it? Like, hey, our network stacks have packet loss, just like people when um, uh, like policies are misinterpreted. Like you create error checking and so on. And you know, if you reframe the problem at hand um, to be one of systems design, it turns out that programmers, especially web programmers who started systems like the kinds of things we are doing in the Rails community, have deep expertise in the types of stuff that people call business. In fact, a lot of what people call business is actually a discipline called systems design. And if you read uh, Daniela's book on systems design, what you find is like, this is stuff we do day in, day out as engineers. So it turns out, I think, that um, if you rephrase things, and sorry for a long answer, if you rephrase things a little bit, Running companies, building companies, it's just building things. Building software, running software is also building things. The convergence is obvious, and the skill sets, although not the same, are incredibly transferable. Um, and so that's one side. The other side is programming is too much fun to stop. And frankly, um, it really, really, really helps understanding and having empathy for what it's like to build in software at, in the company. Um, trying it myself, like starting new stores, but also building apps and just all these kind of things and getting chances to use, make, make a new Rails app every time a new Rails version comes out, all this stuff. Like that increases my mental model for what it's like to work in Shopify, to be a API partner of Shopify, um, um, and it always inspires me to, I, I also learn about how the world of programming has progressed and its ideas and its new solutions to problems I encountered back in the day. And sometimes the realization that that's a problem I can take and apply to an HR issue, which I know sounds surprising, but is absolutely a thing. To me, that's all fun. It's all building. Like, again, Discovery, I've, like, is, 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 it's not a real discovery. It's uh, you already know it. Uh, it's like the thing that everyone, everyone knows it intuitively. But sometimes someone needs to say it. 
Life is best lived. Working hard. Solving difficult problems surrounded by friends. Like this is what you should be doing. And hard doesn't mean crazy hours. It just means intentional, caring. Go hard. like build the skills, set yourself up. Don't just go to a billiard table and play the next ball. You need to play the table. You need to like position your ball at the right spot to be doing thinking the next ball as well. Build the skills like in such a way that you can accomplish the greatest possible tasks and be in the room with the most inspiring other people to build things that you care about. And that's, that's just the secret, honestly. Um, and there's a lot of that kind of camaraderie inside of every good company. There's a lot of this kind of camaraderie inside of every well-run open source project. There's a lot of this kind of um, camaraderie if you ever get to start a business. It's there's, there's a lot of this kind of camaraderie in the military. There's a lot of this kind of cam camaraderie in, um, uh, in, in volunteerism and in, in any community, in all communities. And so it, this is not that hard to access. And it's just a counter narrative. The narrative of the world is like you want to sit on a beach and sip mojitos. That's dystopian. Like that will be like the alcohol is the important part there because that's what you need to make that fun for any amount of time. You want to work and for your work, build things that other people care about and then you want to give it away as much as you can. And you want to have as many people use it as you can. And um, ideally you are learning to, to accept the hate that you get for building things and the love and mush them together for points in your mind and say, and then it's like, how can I get more tomorrow? I mean, you want to tilt towards love, but like overall it's the same thing. It's passion, it's people caring. And that's, just do that. <laughs>